I'm Michel Guilleux. I'm an eco artist uh, and also an art educator. And I came here at Desert Dairy, uh, invited by Anna and Ted uh, to stay for a week uh, and to uh, make some art. Some time ago, I saw uh, the adventure of the Desert Dairy being uh, uh, explained by Anna on her blog and I was very intrigued by this structure here. Um, its state of uh, like it looks like it's crumbling, it's still standing and so before coming here I was already thinking about what I could do with this structure uh, but not knowing exactly at all and it took me like two days to um, figure it out and um, the way I did it was to um, in a way participate into some sort of cleaning, clean up uh, that I also saw uh, documented by Anna because this very uh, unique special place in the desert here had some uh, complex history uh, of first being, if I understand it, uh, a dairy farm so with animals and um, yeah and then after that it was sold and um, somehow uh, some people came here to uh, put some, some sort of uh, dump uh, on the property. So, um, and I knew that it, it represented a lot of work for Anna and Ted to kind of clear up things and so in a way my, the first thing I did here when I arrived was to dive in the, in the place by cleaning up a little bit this structure. And by doing this I found a lot of objects. Little by little, the idea of using this fragile structure as the, the, the stage for showing all these uh, found objects took place. At the same time, I, w I really wanted to represent somehow uh, the complex system uh, we live in. And, um, and I never did it before, but because this structure has no roof, suddenly I found a way to, to think about this complex system. So everything is tied to each other, but in the, at the same time it's open uh, to the sky. So there is this structure, it's kind of fragile. And I, I could create the, the, the complex system inside the structure. So I love the desert. Uh, it's a place where I feel at home. There is this feeling that the landscape is in a way bare and you can see uh, the rocks you can see that's what my dad used to say he said Michel it's amazing for a geologist to be in a desert because you almost see everything um, and so I was fascinated by this aspect like if you're in a forest it's it's hard to to comprehend the, the for example the scale right so here I really love the horizon it's 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 everywhere you can see it's so far um, and the colors are changing in a, in a way in the desert that it doesn't happen anywhere else. Uh, so I was super happy to be able to wake up at sunrise and then to work and to see the light change and then to see the sunset. Um, so a long period to do a project, even if um, it's only a week, but it is still a long um, number of hours, uh, 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 a large number of hours to be here and only here and to spend that, all these hours with the sun changing, with the, the air changing, it was really strong and really powerful. And that's why I decided to really focus on that. Um, and I, 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 that's my choice and I think it was really awesome.